Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the next video on Kotlin collections. In the previous video, we have gone through the transformation functions like associate, flatten and string presentation. It's time to move further from that. In this video, we will talk about two more type of functionalities that we can do with the Kotlin collections, filtering and plus and minus. As the name filtering suggests, it's all about fetching a subset from a collection. But however, Kotlin provides some more functionalities. Filter is the most obvious one. Then you have filter not null, filter index, filter is instance, partition, any, all, none. And other than that, we will also go through plus and minus feature. So without much further ado, let's get into a demo. So I already have a handy list here and we will utilize this to basically demo our various functionalities. So let me take you through something like as simple as filtering. So right now I have a people here and I want to just filter out only Indians out of this list of persons that we have. So what I will do is people dot filter it dot nationality dot equals Indian and then whatever the collection this thing returns on that I want to do a for each and then print ln it and if I run this out of the whole list I am getting only two values here whose nationality is Indian that's how this filter works I can change this predicate to anything instead of nationality I can say it dot H is greater than or equal to 18 and that is going to give me only those people whose age is more than or equal to 18. So let me just try to do the opposite one and we should basically get only one value here and as you expect this is how it works. So far we have applied filter on a list. We can do pretty much same thing on a map. I have a map here city states. It contains map containing state capital and the state. So what I can do is I can apply a filter here city states dot filter map entry map entry dot t dot equals bangalore so that should return me only this particular key value pair print ln t u and if i run this you should be able to see only this particular filtered out value there are a couple of more interesting functionalities with simple filter mechanism that we are seeing here other than filter we have filter indexed and as you expect it basically takes index and person and let's assume that you want to basically filter out based on index and some combination of person value say index modulo 2 that is basically you want to access the person at the even index and person dot age less than or greater than 18 and then you want to print for each and if i run this you will see that only the elements which are at the even places they are getting printed and then there is filter not functionality which is just opposite of filter so if i run this it is going to basically print anybody who is lesser than 18 and if i just change it it just negates into the opposite so that's what this is filter not there is another interesting functionality with filtering uh, that is called as filter is instance which basically tells whether a particular object in a list is of a particular instance type to understand it better we have this abstract class called as animal and then you have a cat which extends domestic animal but which in turn extends animal and then you have dog and then you have a tiger so i am going to just utilize this i am going to create a list of animals so how do i do that val animals list of animal and under that i can write cat if i remember correctly i have to pass cat animal type the pet name let me call it as kitty and then climber of say houses and then let me create a dog animal type dog pet name dobby and let me add a tiger and now what i can do is animals dot filter is instance and i am interested in only cat and for each print ln8 dot pet name and 
and if I run this, it should give me kitty because there is only one which satisfies the condition that it is instance of a cat. Just let me comment it out. Let me call it as domestic animal and let me run this. Now you can see kitty and dobby because dog and cat are domestic animals, tiger is not. So it depends upon the how hierarchy I have created. So that's where this filter instance comes in handy. In all of these cases, what has happened so far is we have only got one subset from the original list. Sometimes we don't want to get only one subset i want to get two subsets what i mean by that is if i filter out only people who are of less than age 18 i am only going to get one set but i don't want to do that i want to basically partition this into a list containing two set that is people who are above 18 and then people who are below 18 that can also be done i can do that here that is people dot partition that is the functionality that you can use it dot age greater than 18 and now if i access first dot for each print ln it it is going to print me one set of people the first set which is above 18 and the second set is basically the one who is below 18 instead of accessing first and second if you want to print the whole thing this is how it will look print ln partition and if i run this it is basically a list of list it is a nested list this is one list and then you have another list which contains only only one element and that's how this partition works other than filter and partition there is one more thing that we can have a look at that is test predicates in collection we get three types of test predicates that is any none and all it's pretty simple for example let's assume that i want to print whether is there anyone from kenya in the people list the way we would do it is people dot any predicate would be it dot nationality dot equals and that's how it works and that is what the functionality of any predicate is and in the same way i want to see whether is there no one from pakistan so what i can do is i can use none predicate for that so how do i do that people dot none dot nationality dot equals pakistan it basically returns me false because we have one person from pakistan however if i use kenya in this case it returns me a two because there is nobody from kenya in this list as of now then there is another one called as all it basically allows you to check whether everybody satisfies a particular condition or not whether all are majors that is whether everybody is above the age of 18 so people dot all it dot age greater than 18 or greater than or equal to 18 and that should return me a false because there is one person who is of age 15 so that is where the usage of any none and all comes in handy when you are working with a huge set and you want to quickly check that if a particular condition satisfies in the list then you want to go ahead and do something with it so that's where this comes in handy other than this uh, there is one more thing that i would like to go through that is plus and minus to do this let me have a ready to use handy list of three lists that is list one list two list three it contains different set of names here and what i can do is well added list and i can write list names one plus list names two basically we have done the operator overloading concept here and now if i print ln added list it is nothing but combined list that's what this does and you can just add one more here george it will add one more element to that list this is what plus and minus is basically removing that element i have a added list here and out of this added list i want to remove michelle so what i can do is added list minus michelle and if i run this you will basically see a list which is devoid of michelle and not only you can minus a individual element you can even minus a list for example so let me remove list of names three here if you see here these are mutually exclusive lists so there is no name here which is common among these two 
that is being held in the added list. So if I try to remove this, it doesn't remove anything because there is nothing to remove. However, if Michelle was present here in the third list, you will observe that that particular element will be removed from the added list because of the minus. And from the added list, if you want to remove the list of names too, you will once again get back the original first list because that's what you are supposed to get. You had added these two and now you are removing this. So if you remove this, this is what you are supposed to get and that's what you got here. So that's it in this video. In the next video, we will continue to explore few more collection operations. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.